Before we configure the operation to our Salesforce connector, we can use the Salesforce connection component to ensure successful connectivity to our account. First, click on the blue import button to open an Explorer-like tool built to expose your Salesforce objects and relationships. Select the Salesforce connection component created to pull your unique account instance based on login credentials. Atomsphere will authenticate the Salesforce login and in the event it cannot connect, it'll display an error indicating it may be a username or password issue. A successful outcome will include a list of the available objects to integrate. Our connection component is loaded, so we need to configure our operation. Let's review the query options. A Salesforce query returns zero to many object records from a single API request based on zero or more input filters. The response profile identifies the full standard and custom response field set along with the Salesforce data formats. This is a reusable XML profile component that can later be embedded in our mappings. Note the exact response profile name since it contains the latest Salesforce field set from our import. The include deleted option, when checked, will return the soft deleted records in your return in your result set returned to the Boomi process. This pulls in everything since a record isn't truly erased in the Salesforce backend after deleting the record in the Salesforce frontend with your user. You may require this for unique integration purposes or for reporting. The batch results option, when checked, builds response records into a single list document. By default, each unique account response instance enters into the process as a single XML transaction. So checking this option will batch all transaction results into a single document entity and pass it through the rest of the process. The query limit specifies maximum number of records to return to our process and its default is negative one, indicating return all results matching the specifications. This feature is used for unit testing or limiting large data migrations. The show SOQL button displays a read only pop-up of current fields and filters in the Salesforce query language format. Atomsphere does not support writing SOQL of any kind. From the objects view, you can highlight the different imported objects to different field rules. The fields tab allows you to select or deselect specific fields or the entire field set. So be aware, custom fields are always gonna be listed at the bottom here. The filters tab requires the most configuration, allowing you to narrow down the response set. So we'll see an example of this as we build out our query options for this process. The sorts tab defines one to many sort fields to order results in ascending or descending order. Although not a common feature, it can help organize account names in alphabetical order for daily reporting. I'm gonna demonstrate exercise four, creating a Salesforce query operation. So in exercise four, we're creating a Salesforce query operation. So in this exercise, queried account and contact information is gonna be returned based on the record's unique type. So in the start shape window next to the operation, we're going to click on the create icon to open a new component tab. In the new window, we're gonna enter account query by type as the name. Now we're gonna click on the blue import button. We're gonna click on the browse icon magnifier and we're going to look for the Salesforce connection, the Boomi training Salesforce connection component from our prospect tracking folder. We're gonna configure the following from the dropdown menus. The object type is going to be account underscore C and the action is going to be query. Now we're gonna click next and the Salesforce import wizard is going to build the object tree. In our case, we're gonna be accepting the default so we don't have to select any of the child or parent objects. So when it loads, we can just click next. So we don't need to make any modifications to child or parent records, we're gonna click next. We source the object type account underscore C the action was query, and so the response profile is the Salesforce underscore account C query response. We can click finish. And then at the bottom of the query window under the objects tab, if you highlight account C, which it should be highlighted, we're gonna then click on the filters tab, and we're gonna click on the blue dropdown next to logical, and we're gonna add an expression to this. Then we can click on the expression itself and we're gonna change the name to type equals. And then we're gonna select the field. The field is going to be type underscore C. Okay. And the operator is going to be equal to. So the filter name in this case is describing what we're doing. So type underscore C is equal to, that's why the filter name says that. So now we can hit save and close and return to the process. 
And now you can see that the operation is loaded into the start shape and we can click OK to accept a configured start shape. Now it's your turn to complete exercise four, creating a Salesforce query operation.